Well hello there and welcome to issue number 128 and this issue is all about the Taurus Goat as you can see on the caption prior to the video those are all the dates you have to be in to be in this Eastern and Western Zodiac combination um, any questions please don't you know hesitate to get in touch write on my comments send me a message um, and if you haven't subscribed and you enjoy it then please just subscribe and um, and get involved in this uh, astrological um, series. Okay, let's start right at the beginning with the Taurus goat. Now, um, we've started the chart as a child. Now, we know the Taurian, um, okay, can be a little bit stubborn as a child. They can be a little, but they really are pretty easily pleased, you know, um, and pretty easy going. They don't tend to enjoy conflict whatsoever um, and neither does the goat so when you match the two together in the uh, western eastern astrology if you really do get a placid um, not so stubborn Taurian where they're sort of okay they go with the flow a bit easier because goats um, you know they don't mind floating about a bit so they're not ones to really dig their heels in whatsoever and uh, so it makes this Taurian a little bit you know less stubborn and very very easy to get on with um they make friends so easily um and they're so placid i mean it's very very rare if ever that this combination will ever lose their temper because but you know there's no need for them because um it's not that they don't take life serious enough but they don't get in those situations and if anybody says anything i say okay fair enough that's your opinion it doesn't really really bother them um, they don't take things to heart like that they've got a tough skin and um, you know they're very robust in that sense where they say okay that's your opinion this is mine hey let's just get on with it and this is how you find them so easy going I say they've got plenty and plenty of friends very popular um, and as I, as I say may need um, as you're going through the school years coming into um, secondary school years um, the university school years and college um, they may need a bit of a, a, a push in the right direction or kick up the backside a bit because they can get a little bit all old in they can get a little bit stuck in a rut and they sort of think yeah I'm just plodding I'm just plod sometimes I just plod um, for the sake of it sometimes they don't really sort of push them out push themselves really to the limits um, because of this combination the one sets off the other where they're very relaxed um, they can sort of think, oh, I'll we'll get through this, I'll sail through this, and um, it takes away a little bit of that, well, I wouldn't say determination, but there's a lapse and a relaxed attitude sometimes, which sometimes teachers misread as being lazy, or, you know, and sometimes even themselves, they say, well, you know, maybe I could have pushed myself harder. Um, they do live with this, but it's, 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 what it is in the combination you cannot change it but it's to use it to the best of your ability so um okay so you're going to be relaxed um through these times but you know maybe uh you know making it a bit more enjoyable the stuff is a bit more enjoyable and probably learning outside would be better a lot more uh, sort of groundwork research done outside of that confines of you know you're with your mates it's just rolling and bowling along so maybe take yourself out of that comfort zone um, and put the Tory and go maybe on their own learning at home um, and they'll probably catch up with their work and they'll probably you know probably enjoy that more because they see when they see all their mates around them and this passivity and they sort of get as I say into this right into this environment of just you know drifting along but if we get them into the workplace um, the real practical skills come in of the uh, Taurian goat and plus the love of beauty so I think you know choosing something to do with gardens um, landscape gardener um, you know and that sort of style of, of you know that sort of style of work maybe sculpturing um, you know uh, wood carving you know things very ornate and to do with nature very picturesque um, they will love this um, and they've got such a great eye for beauty and sometimes they can daydream about beauty they do get crushes they do romance um, and they are just drawn to beautiful things um, male and female they're just like wow 
and they can lift off, they've got their own little space. I love to see them doing landscaping and things like that because they're in their own environment. They're in that sort of, where they can't get distracted too much by being everybody's friend. They just work at their own pace. Um, plus you're going to see the skill, you're going to see that um, that love of beauty and it comes out of some, and even oil painting, things like that, they really have um, that lack, uh, that knack of, um, um, you know, just expressing beauty and not feeling pressure. Uh, they're great for the art, artistic style of things because where everybody else may go to stage or they may go to paint um, with the pressures and all the world on their shoulders, the tourist goes south through, so even acting, they could do that, um, as I say, very easy because they're not feeling the pressure that you know everybody else say so what's all the fuss about and that's with the gardening that's when the great grateful you know beautiful stuff comes out where you haven't got this onus on you to create this beautiful thing it just happens it's organic and that's very much the Tory and goat they're very organic in that it just blossoms um, and it's very natural um, plus they can choose their times when they work and you're going to get the best out of them. Confining them or pushing them into this direction, it doesn't work for them and it won't work for you. It really won't. The confines of space and the confines of a strict regimented routine of learning does not appeal uh, to them and it won't work. So really uh, we've got to think about that. And Taurus Goat, if you can get into that environment, your arts and you know you could do your arts and your drama, get into that as early as possible um, and parents out there you've got your Tory and go just encourage them to say look you know naturally you know great they're, they're on it they're on it they are great street performers as well I mean they could paint in front of X amount of people sketching busk anything like that where the nerves are never going to get the better of them because it's, they're so plastic and it's so natural to them so that's where we've got to look the key to their uh, um, their life um, and the way forward. If we look at the best partners for the Tory and Goat, well, because they're so, uh, how can we say, laid back, basically horizontal, um, and they can have some crushes. So sometimes they don't make themselves available because they might have had their eye on somebody, and it may be something very, very uh, romantic, and it's not going to happen. Or, but they may be holding out for that. So you really have to watch that they're not distracted that they, uh, their mind is now square on somebody um, because they'd be very easy to talk to but really getting inside them I don't know because if they've got their eye on that certain person on that beauty or sometimes on that untouchable object which they can do, man or female, it doesn't matter, they can do um, sometimes they're not completely zoned in to this relationship or to make this work because they're maybe not looking at it like that but when they do, um, I'd give them a bit of time, I'd give them um, into their middle twenties really, so maybe that cross side of them's going, that's leaving them, and they want to get practical, uh, they're happy in there, in where they've found their niche, um, and then they're ready for a relationship. So who are we going to look for for them? Well, we have to look for the rabbits here. Um, the rabbits for the goat, they're very, very complimentary because the rabbit, <coughs> quite timid, very shy, um, but also they're good conversationists. So they, once you get talking to them um, and that shyness out of the way, they're, they're very, very willing to put some conversation in them. And sometimes when they go, they can have their quiet spells and their dreamy spells. You know, the rabbit's keeping the conversation going, keeping the activity going, um, and they keep the house lovely. So the goat will feel very well protected, very well looked after while they go off in their little bohemian way, while they're doing their bit, but now everything's taken care of. And the rat is a fantastic um, person to be controlling finances as well. Sometimes a goat needs a little bit of help here, because um, sometimes money can slip through a little bit, or they're not really that intent on saying now how much they've got, how much they need. Well, the rabbit will take control of this. They'll be your personal, um, your personal calculator basically this is where we are we've got plenty for that we've got plenty for this and it does take a lot of stress away if this if the goat's going to ever feel any stress it may be by uh, the constraints of society where we need this to live we need that to live and they can get really bored and and, and annoyed by that sort of thing where it's sort of 
pecking them down, weighing them down, stopping their natural sort of cells. So the rabbit takes it away, um, does all the worrying, that sort of side of it, to let the goat just be as they are, you know, and they, they, they really do adapt to their world, world so well. Um, and they're fabulous. So we look for the rabbits, we've got to look for the Cancerian rabbit, the Virgo rabbit, the Piscean rabbit, and also we've got to look for the Capricorn rabbit, because they are the best of the rabbit family. The, all rabbits are good, but they are the particularly top four. And also we've got to look at the pigs, because the pigs, with that, with that discipline, and with that certain, you know, that, that, that real sort of possessive um, zoning in on their partner and zoning in on the go and they'll be very, very tight knit. They'll be a very good sexual union as well because they will bond. They have a sensitivity between them and when the goat and pig, that sensitivity, it's so touching and it's, they know it. They know they're bang on it there. Um, they've met a kindred spirit in that, in that sense and very romantic as well. They will enjoy the little gifts, they will enjoy the little um, the meals together and then just sort of like sometimes quiet times but then sometimes just really enjoying each other physically as well as mentally. It's a great match. So if we look for the pigs, if we look under the Cancer pig, we look under the Virgo pig, Capricorn pig and we also look for the Piscean pig. They are the top, top four matches and they will never be unhappy together. If we have a look at the ones to avoid, well, we've got to avoid oxen because, okay, um, the goat, and especially Taurus goat, could maybe do with a bit of a strict tempo, which the oxen will give, but they're a little bit too harsh in this, um, and the, the goat will feel restricted, very restricted, and um, they could drift off, and they just say, forget it all, and you... You know, they, it's just too much hassle for them with the ops, because the ops go, right, we do things, boom, boom, boom. They can't be ruled like that to go. They have to have that certain amount of air and space. But also, on the other hand, the oxen feels as though the goats just taking liberties. They're sort of like, oh, they're here one minute, they're gone the next. You know, they don't really understand their rhythm, so that's why you've got to avoid each other, because it ends up getting messy. Um, you're wasting each other's time basically and you don't want to do that because as I say time is precious we need to find the right person okay well thank you for joining me on this issue as it goes to health with the Taurus goat there is no real immediate worries because they're not stress driven as I say they're very casual um, may enjoy their grub a little too much but you know you get that rabbit behind you who's a great cook by the way uh, we'll say, well, what's your diet, what's this, what's that? So you've got those people and the pig. He will nag you in sort of saying, okay, enough's enough. So that's the only concerns I have with the health, um, possibly diet, and we'll get a bit overweight, the Taurus goat, because they're a bit relaxed and they do love their food. Okay, well, thank you for joining me, and please join me for the next one. Thank you.